like whipped cream. And, uh, This was too easy, yeah. It's not easy for you. <laughs> we, uh, Time. We're out of time. Yeah. Well, well, we're just going to have to cut something out of the middle. <laughs> <laughs> On this show, that's not going to be hard to do. <laughs> What's on the menu for tonight? We're going to make a vegetable beef soup first, and then we're going to do meatloaf, mashed potatoes, gravy, and some uh, roasted corn. Another dietetic meal. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it's okay. So, let's get started. Okay. Now, I've got some carrots. Now, we're going to put the carrot. Turn the fire on under that pot right there, will you, Barbara? Yeah, that's it. Good girl. Okay. Okay. Now, we've got some very unusual carrots here. You notice four of these, of these eight carrots mm -hmm. are peeled already. Mm hmm That's because Barbara is uh, allergic to carrots. And we're only going to use two of these carrots anyhow. So, why did you peel the other two? So, I wouldn't two? have to peel them in front of you, and you'd, your eyes would be watering. You'd break out and... Uh, uh, let me put these back in here, okay? Okay. No, seriously, we have to keep the carrots away from Barbara because she, uh, she's allergic. And we want to slice these very thin because it takes a long time for carrots to cook. And the thinner they are, the quicker they cook. Now, I notice the technique you're using. You keep this, pe this part of the knife on, on the cutting board. Yes. Is that just a technique you've developed yourself or... No, that's the way all cooks do it. It, it rocks on the point, and, and, it's, uh, it's, and it has to be a, a, good, a good long knife to do that. So we've got to put these carrots in the, uh, in the uh, let's use this right here. Why don't you put those in the hot water there? Can you put them in without burning yourself? Sure. No, I can do that Terrific. without burning myself. Now, here we get back to the old onion trick again. Every show, we always peel an onion. Barbara, what are you doing? Well, I'm moving it over to this burner. Oh. Oh, I see. That's the burner that we have the camera on. Right. Is that right? Oh, exactly. Terrific. Good idea. Where does this recipe come from, John? You know, I don't know. I, this is just one that I've been using for years. It just, uh, uh, it's an original. Is this a family recipe? Vegetable beef soup. No, it was one I learned in, in World War II, in the Merchant Marine, when I was sailing. Would you hand me the um, bowl? Good girl. Yeah, all right. You were in the Merchant Marine? Yes, ma'am, I sure was. I practically won the war single-handed. What war? World War II. Oh, okay. Just all checking. Right, all right, yeah. Okay, so we've now got... We've, we've, got uh, we've got a half, an, half an onion, mm -hmm. two carrots, yep. and two stalks of celery. Now, these aren't stalks. The whole, what do you call a celery thing like this? I don't know. The I whole thing celery. is, this is a stalk. And this is a, well, anyhow, two of these. And we're going to dice the celery. Now, there's no flavoring in that water, really? There will be. Be patient. We're going to put some bouillon in there. We're going to put six spoons. We got six cups of water in that pan. Well, they didn't see us do that. We did that before we went on the air. There's six cups of water in the, uh, in the pan. And, uh, now, how long will this all cook? Not very long. Well, what's not very long? Eh, a little while. No, turn the fire down. It's way too hot. Well, I thought if I turned the fire up, it would cook faster. It, it, it gets to 212 degrees and just stays there. It's never going to get any hotter. Is that, how do you know that? Well, I just do. I went to school. Didn't you learn that in the ninth grade? No, I in don't New, remember the York? ninth grade. You don't. Well, kids aren't remembering the ninth grade anymore either. You know what I'm now, this is a tomato. You, you recognized it, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> and we've got it diced. And we're going to put this in next. Now, wouldn't this be easier? To have just a food processor to do this? No, no. Because it doesn't take any time at all. Let's have the bowl. It doesn't take any time at all, but to clean a food processor takes for hours and hours. It's terrible. Uh, now, that was, that was one tomato. One we're tomato. Gonna, we're going to have a half a bell pepper. What are we going to do with the other half? 
I don't know. Now that's a, a green a, a green pepper. Right. You have cooked before with yellow peppers. Is there a, is there a taste difference? Or? Oh yeah, the yellow and the and the red peppers are very sweet, and they're also very expensive. And until we get a sponsor, we're not going to be using any. Is there a season for peppers? No. Well, they used to be, but now they, with jet airplanes and everything, they grow them around the world, and so there really isn't a season. Now, what do we want next? Oh, we want to put this in. This is beef. It's vegetable beef soup, and this is the beef. Okay. Shouldn't we cook that before we put no, it in? No, it's going to cook. Let's put it in here. Now you got to kind of swoosh it up with a spoon real good. Okay. okay. So, you know, you're getting, you're getting better. You haven't burnt yourself or anything. We're just a few minutes into the show. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting battle wounds from this now show. Now, we had six cups of... This uh, is turning white. Well, you, uh, 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 just put the, the in there and, and stir it. Good girl. Yeah, all right. Now, we're going to put six teaspoons of this in. This is, what beef, is that? beef bouillon. And we had six cups of water. If you weren't crazy about beef, could you substitute this with chicken bouillon? I lost count. I'm sorry. That's four, <laughs> five, <laughs> six, maybe. Yeah, you could, but then you would use chicken bouillon, and, and you would use chicken instead of beef, because well, it's yeah. a whole different thing. Well, but so, and you could actually not even use the bouillon, couldn't you, and just make a plain vegetable soup? It wouldn't be very good. Yeah, you could, but it wouldn't be very good. People in Irvine might eat it. But that would be about it. And that's about it, yeah. Okay. So now that's, you know, that's, uh, that's it. The soup that's is... It, that's it. No, it's, no, it's not done. It's got to boil for a little while. Well, what's a little while? Well, by the time we get our, our uh, meatloaf done, it's going to be... Uh, that, about 20 be minutes? Half an hour? 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Except turn the fire up a little bit. It's not boiling. Turn the fire yeah. up. Turn okay. the fire down. Okay. Well, oops. What's next? <laughs> Barbie, you're terrific. Oh, here, let me turn that down a little bit. All right. That was a pound and a half, and this is a half a pound, and this is a half of an uh, uh, Italian sausage. Okay. Okay. Now, we got, oh, now we got to cut up an onion. We do. You had that half of onion? Well, we need a whole onion. What did we do with the half onion? You threw it away. No, I didn't. I wouldn't waste a whole half onion. Not as much as I like onions. And I wouldn't put a peeled onion in the refrigerator. It's gone. Well, we want a whole onion. So you're just going to smoosh that in there? That's right. We're along with an egg. Why don't you get an egg out of the refrigerator while I'm doing this? One? One egg, yeah. How about any breadcrumbs? We don't use breadcrumbs. Only, For meatloaf? Only Richard Blackwell uses breadcrumbs. The last time we made meatloaf, Richard Blackwell was on the show. I remember. And we had a big argument about the breadcrumbs. And then he made your meatloaf soggy, and you were really mad. Yes. And then he said that if you gave him two pieces of white bread, he could pat it dry. Yeah, he's a strange person. Okay, we got this. All right. Now, we need uh, a teaspoon of salt, which is here. And uh, gosh, I can't get that. Um, What's the matter? I need to stop making my eyes tear. Oh my gosh! Is it? Is it? Is it making your makeup smear? That's a teaspoon of salt. Whoa! That's a lot of salt. No, that's not much salt. It's good for the arteries. And a half a teaspoon of pepper. Well, a little more than a half. There. Yeah, maybe a little more. And this is sweet basil. And I don't know what that does, but we'll put in a couple of things there. Okay. Now, I've still got the lid on this because this is crushed garlic. Mm hmm And this is really strong stuff. Oof. <laughs> Between the onion and the garlic. That's crushed garlic. Can you buy it in a little bottle? It's a lot mm -hmm. easier than working with fresh garlic. Well, you know. you know, most chefs would be purists, and they would actually chop their garlic. Well, if this wasn't a 21-minute show, I would too. Now, we're going to swish it all up. Oh, jewelry and all? Aren't you going to take your jewelry off? Well, I cleaned it up real good on the meatloaf I made this afternoon, so it should be in pretty good shape. <laughs> oh, wait, did we put the salt in here? Yeah, we put the salt. Yes. We put the pepper. All right, all right. Did you notice how clean my fingernails were before we started, too? Yeah, oh, I hope so. Yeah. Now, we've got a pan here somewhere. 
Uh, oh, I didn't get a chance to finish, but what we're going to do that's very unusual is this microwave is a uh, convection oven, and it's got a probe, and we're going to cook this meatloaf in the microwave, and it takes about 17 minutes, which would otherwise take an hour in the oven. Will this brown it, though? It'll be brown, beautiful, yes. Really? Yes, really. All right, now just set the pan right down here. Good girl. Okay. Okay, that's interesting looking. All right. Now, let me get in here and uh, rinse this out. Oh, my gosh. Well, you we, forgot a piece. Yes, yes. Well, we'll get that in there. So let me rinse this out a bit. Okay. You know, we're teaching our viewers to be neat and clean, so when you get the meal finished, you don't have a big mess in the kitchen. You notice that? I noticed. You, you okay. are just... Okay, just set that over there. there you are. All right, now we're going to put but this I in But I think our... to be neat and clean, John, you also need to use soap. Well, again, we don't have any soap. <laughs> again, it's all... Yes, we do have soap. I and think... That's, that's got to last, too, until we get a sponsor. <laughs> all right. Now, no, it's just the, the microwave here. Oh, mercy, I hope we have the probe handy. Well, we, do you really need a probe? You have Can't to you a, just look at it and see if it's done? No, 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 no. The secret is with the probe. Uh oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Uh oh. Well, how about using the oh, oven? Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Here it is, here it is. You're always so well prepared. I knew we would be all right. Now, the probe goes in the, right in the very middle of it. Now, everybody probably doesn't have a microwave like this. This is a convection microwave. But the folks that do have, this is a great way to do meatloaf, OK? So we put the meatloaf in there, and we plug the little probe into this little thing up here, see? Like so. And then on, on here, it says sensor temp right there. Mm-hmm. You push that button. And then down here, it says roast beef well is number three. So we push that. And then we push start. And that's and it. 18 minutes, we've got a meatloaf all cooked, ready to eat. OK. So now. So what's next? Well, we're going to have some corn. This is imperial margarine. Yeah, I hate to mention all these names when we don't have a sponsor, but then what can you do? <laughs> but imperial is good margarine. Are you partial to imperial? Yes, I've always used imperial. For what reason? Oh, I, well, because it's supposed to put a crown on your head or something. I don't know. I watched the commercial. All right. And so do you feel like a king? Oh, always. Like a king. Now we need some salt and pepper. There's some salt and pepper over the little shakers. So you're buttering the corn. Yes, 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 yes. Now the margarine. This is margarine, and mm -hmm. it, it doesn't has no cholesterol in it at all. Uh, well, I'm proud of you. You that, that's progress well, for we'll you. We'll get enough in the meatloaf, so we'll be all right. Now we're gonna we're gonna wrap these up. Put some. Put a little salt and pepper on. That's that's pepper, yeah. That's salt. Where are you gonna put them? We're gonna put them in with the meatloaf. In the microwave? In the microwave. With the metal? When, that's see, that's a it's a microwave convection, and right now it's on convection, and so there's no metal. We've got the corn in, and we've got the meatloaf in, and we've got the soup already made. We're ahead of schedule. Is this ready yet? That is ready, except we have to thicken it. Can the camera see this? Why does it need to be thickened? I think well, this is lovely too. this way. No, you just thicken it. it, it, it uh, it's very... Uh, I think this is light and it looks healthy. It's very European if you thicken it, you know? And this, uh, I want to say, this is, this is Wondra. This is flour, but it's, it's granulated and it's, it's in the little, kind of little tiny little balls to where when you mix it up with water, it mixes instead of just getting a big lump. And it costs more money than regular flour, but it's worth it. Well, now that's a switch for you to actually. You know what? This has wheat flour, malted barley flour, niacin, iron, thiamin, and then stuff you can't pronounce. Right. It's very good for you. We need a little more here. So this won't make lumps? This will not make lumps, no, no. And when we make the gravy for our mashed potatoes, we'll be using that well, too. How are you? how are you knowing how much to put in this well, and I how thick it. it'll be? I put in three tablespoons full. Is there instructions to say how much soup you have to how thick it's going to be? Well, there's six cups of water in here. 
And so you use three tablespoons full of flour. Now, well, anybody knows that. Can you see it getting thick now? All I see it is getting cloudy. Well, it's getting thick and cloudy and good. So we did put, yeah, everything's in there. That's this not is, getting thicker. Yes, it's getting thick. What? That's not thick. Well, not I've, thick, I'm but sorry. a little bit thick. It gives it a little body. It's not just plain old water now, see? Does it taste different? Eh, not much. A little bit. So okay. this is a vanity thing, then? Well, no, it's a vanity thing. It's just, it's just what you do. Uh, now, this is, we're going to have some hot rolls with okay. our... Okay. In order to get the rolls hot, we're going to put them in the oven. Wow. <laughs> An original, huh? Okay. With the plate, you're putting them in the oven. That's is that a special plate? That is, is uh, Libby... What is Libby Owens Ford uh, uh, Corral? And you can put it in the oven. It's, it's heat -proof. Amazing. It's amazing. It's good stuff. Okay, you talked about mashed potatoes. Oh, we've got to do that. And it's going to take forever. My gosh. Luckily, though, I did peel these potatoes this afternoon. Look here. They're all peeled. And, and you know, if, when you peel potatoes ahead of time, which you very often should do, you should always keep them in water. Why? They'll turn black if you don't. Really? And black potatoes are not nice, especially when you, uh, especially when you uh, mash them. I forgot about the potatoes. We're going to be in trouble now because it's going to take it's going to take like a half hour for these to cook. Now what are you doing? Just cutting them in half? Yeah, get smaller pieces so they cook faster. Should I put this water on? Yes, good idea. Why didn't you remember the potatoes, Barbara? Well, I don't know. You're the cook here. You have this hidden agenda. Yeah, but I'm old and I have no memory. Okay, I got these here. Turn the fire. Turn it up? Well, gear, yeah, all the way, all the way. Should I cover it? That'll help. You know what we're going to have to So this whole it? thing takes about how long? About 30 minutes. Is there something else well, we the should gravy, be doing? No, we can't make the gravy till the meatloaf's done because we use the juice from the meatloaf to make the gravy with. I see. They're, now, they're how finished. do you know when they're finished? Well, they're, they're finished. When, you, when, you when we put a knife in them, it goes in very easily. You know, it's done. So why don't you turn the fire out? Okay. Good girl. All right. So now we're going to drain them. All Whoa. right. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's good stuff. In the right. bowl? Now, yeah, but we're going to put it in this bowl here because this is the, uh, the uh, KitchenAid mixer, which is a terrific machine. I mentioned that earlier. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to put a... We're going to put an eighth of a pound of butter in here, which is about half of this, more or less. All right, and we're going to put a, put a um, spoon of salt for the arteries. All right, a little more. Okay, and, uh, and some milk. Now, this is an interesting milk container. Can I can't this? remember when I've seen a, a, a glass milk bottle. bottle. A milk bottle. Can you believe that? A genuine bottle. Where what does that find say? That? I found it in the market, and uh, that's the reason I bought it, because it was in a, in a bottle. Remember last week, I couldn't get the thing open because of that cardboard thing, and it wouldn't open? Yes, you had quite a, quite a time of it with that. Can you pronounce that? Brogueriers? Well, anyhow. So, we're going to put a half a cup of milk in here, okay? Okay. All right. Now. That was some unique measuring you just well, did. Well, you have to be very accurate with this. You can't, uh, you can't guess. All right. You know, I bet the camera can't see way over here with this. No, stuff. probably not. No. Now when you're standing in the way, all okay. they're looking at all is right. your butt. All right. Now, that's just going to go for a little while. Now, while that's going, we're going to uh, take your our... Your hat's uh, falling, too. My hat's falling. Fix my hat. All right. You can't... I think you need to starch this thing a little better. It won't stand up. No, it's... <laughs> when you well, hit the yeah. steam, it's just kind of... I just had that problem all over the place, you know? <laughs> well... Now, this is, you were wondering whether this was going to get brown. Yes. You, you is wonder. that brown? Oh, boy. Now, I want, I, want, I want to ask you, is that brown? Oh, that, that brown? looks wonderful. That Ow. Oh, the first time tonight you burned yourself. You're getting, you're getting better. How about that? That looks really good. That this is, is very hard. That is good. Oh, boy. We're going to have a lot of stuff for gravy. Okay. All right. Is that not brown, huh? That's brown. That Isn't looks that wonderful. It smells good, too. Now, we're going to make our gravy now. So we're going to put this. Is that hot? Yes, oh, it's hot. very hot. hot. 
You know, when they things come out of the oven, they seem to be hot like that. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> now, you have these little balls of something floating around in there. Well, that's the juice off the meat. Now. Okay, we, this is boiling. We have here a half a cup of... Uh, uh, it'll keep boiling if we leave it on the fire, too, okay? Now, we've got a half a cup of uh, flour. That's the Wondra? one. Wondra again. Wondra, okay. Wondra again. And uh, we're going to have two cups of water here because this is a two-cup measure. So can we wait till this boils? It's boiling, darling. Can't you see? Okay. All right. Now it'll quit boiling because that's cold water and that'll cool it down. All right. Now, we've got to just keep stirring that. Okay. Now, this is going to get very thick. In fact, it'll probably get too thick, and we'll have to put some more water in it. But while you're stirring that, I'm going to get some salt. I think this is more done. More salt. This is getting thick very quickly. Yes. You know what we don't have? What? Is a little pa paprika to put on these mashed potatoes just to make them look nice, you know? Does paprika add to the taste? No. It's just purely cosmetic. Uh, just, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now. Now it's great. Doesn't it? Let's see. I think everything's ready. We've got to That's get our it. corn. We've got to get our corn out of the oven. All right. Let's see how our corn looks. Oh, it's going to look wonderful. And we're going to put this on a plate. On our plates. How about this now? Oh, boy. Make a little swimming pool here, huh? Oh, we've got to you go. want some gravy? Well, not for a minute. Because we still have to cut the rope, the, the um, meatloaf. All right. Gee, do you think we're going to take a chance cutting this? Because I've got one I know is done in the oven there. But Let's I did this try afternoon. it. Because this may be, you know, because it didn't go as long as it should have been. Oh, it's wonderful. Okay. Boy, we lucked out on that one. Now, this meatloaf should be very good because I've got a different kind of sausage in here. A very spicy sausage. Now, now we can put some gravy on our potatoes in the little swimming pool I made. Can you put that in there without the added girl? A little more, huh? A little more. Now, how about some right in the middle of the meatloaf? Right there. That's terrific. Okay. Now, here's our meal. We have a soup ladle here. Genuine plastic soup ladle. That we're going to put the soup in a soup bowl. Oh, that looks terrific. Oh, wow. That does look good. Can the camera see this? It sure can. Oh, that's good. It's this right is, above you. This is wonderful. It all looks like... All right. It looks like you made little meatballs in this. Is that good? Mmm. Is that good? Really good. Okay. Now, oh, now all we have to do is get our... Uh, dessert. Our rolls out of the oven. We have no dessert. Are you going to put flour in that? Boy, what are we doing? 